All right, so this is the second part of the Retrofit 2 tutorial where we will be making a very simple news app. And the second part is going to consist of actually using the API to retrieve the information from the news API. And for this example, we will be using this API that is called Currents API, this one right here. And it should bring you to this page over here where it tells you you can use this simple GET request and it gives you a few key examples. And it also tells you what you should expect to get back from the API. But the first thing you need to do is go ahead and create a new account and it's free and it lets you use up to 600 API requests per day, so that's fine. And after you're done signing up, you should end up with this page over here that says account, username, email, and your API token. And I opened up a notepad down here just to keep things simple and orderly. We just write API key and we can just copy and paste this so we can use it later. And after that, to find out how we can actually use this API, we can go to the documentation link and it will take us here to getting started and it will tell us how to use it in curl, JavaScript, Python and R. And it took me a bit of experimentation, but I figured it out after clicking on Java that a full URL will look like this and we will create the full link down here. So we'll write full link and we will first start by taking this and copy and pasting it down here. And then we will take the languages, which we can append immediately at the end of that. And finally, we can take the API key string and append it at the end. So you'll end up with this very long link. And the first part is the base URL. Then we've got the latest news section in case we want to get the latest news. And then we've got the language set to US, but you can change it to any language you want. It can be Italian or French, but make sure to use a valid abbreviation or it might not find the correct language. And then it has this and API key, which takes in our API key and inserts it automatically for us. And that's one thing that's really nice about this API that in the documentation, it just puts the API key that it generated for you inside here. But if you want to do more with this API than just retrieving the latest news, you can definitely do that by reading the documentation. And if we actually go to the homepage of Currents API, it will show you a few examples of how to search for other items, such as if you put keywords of Trump, it will search for Trump and you can change the country and language to all of these. So it gives you a few examples of how to make API requests and you can definitely explore that. But for this example, we are just going to retrieve the latest news. All right, and now we're gonna go down here to the full link and we're just going to copy and paste this into a new window and we will click on enter and you'll see that it returns to us a lot of JSON data in a form of a list. And let's just change that to the raw view because that's the one we're going to be using. And then we're just gonna control and copy all of this. And finally, we can go back to our Android Studio project and we can click on Java, open up this folder with the main activity located in it and we are going to create a new interface. So we're going to go to Kotlin file class and we're going to click on interface and we are going to type in API request. And we're also going to create a new package, which is just going to be called API. And inside this package, we will right click, click on new and we'll click on Kotlin data class file from JSON. And if you don't have this, you can go to your file settings and go to plugins and type it in the marketplace and you will find it. So once you have that, you will click on Kotlin data class file from JSON and you will paste in all that JSON data and format it. And you'll see that when we go to the left, it will format everything you entered. And then down here, we will enter a class name, which we will just call news API JSON, and we will click on generate. And it will tell us that two Kotlin data class files have been generated successfully. And when we open it, it will have one that says new, and one that says news API JSON. And once you have these two files, we can go back to our API request interface. And inside here, we are going to write a get request. So we're gonna do at get, and we need to import this, the retrofit to.http. And we will write in a value, which we will get from our notes. So we have to go back to our notes. And the get request will be this part right here, which comes immediately after the base URL. So we will go inside here, put some annotations and paste it inside. And just in case you wanted to change the language, as you can see here, it says language, you can put a value such as English or whatever your country code is, and it will give you results of the article in that language. And to simplify this tutorial, I will definitely leave this to EN so you guys can actually read it in English. But let's continue and we will create a suspend function immediately under, which is going to be called get news and that's going to return our news our news api json class 
But once we've done all of that with the API, we can go to our main activity and we can start writing some code in here. So the first thing we want to write is a constant value right above the class, and that's going to be called base URL. If we go back to our notes, you will see is the beginning part of this entire link. So we'll take it right where we cut it off and take HTTPS all the way down to services. So this part right here for the API, that is the base URL. And right below, we are going to create a function called make API request. And below that, we're actually going to add the logic to this function. So private function, make API request, click enter. And inside here, we're going to create a value of API, and that's going to be equal to retrofit dot builder. And under that, we are going to write base URL, which is going to take our base URL. And then we need to add a converter factory, which is going to take J JSON converter factory dot create as an argument. And below that, we have to call dot build. And finally, dot create, which will take our API interface as an argument. So we will write in API request class dot Java. And right below, we are going to launch a coroutine. So we're going to write global scope dot launch. And of course, we need to add dispatches.io because this is handling information. And inside here, we are going to write try and we will try to get a response. In case there's no internet, the catch and the exception will save us. So it's important we use this try and catch block. So val response is going to be equal to our api.getNews function that we created in our API request interface. And right below, we're going to create a for loop and we are going to write article in response.news and that is going to go through the list of articles and it's going to return to us all the data until there's no data left to be displayed. And we actually want to log that. So we're going to log.i and we will add main activity and we also definitely should import that. And then we're going to type result equals article. And of course, before we actually try to run this program, we are going to add a catch block, which is going to take an exception. And in case anything goes wrong, we'll do log e main activity. And we want to log this exception. So we'll just insert e there and write to string. And with that being said, we can actually go ahead and run the program to make sure that this actually retrieves the information we are looking for. So if we click on play and open our logcat, you will see that our app has finally loaded and it has loaded with a lot of news articles. And if we actually open that up, you'll see there's quite a lot of articles we got and inside here, it will tell us the author of who wrote it, the category, the description, and so on. It will also give us a few links of where the article was derived from, the image, and all of that. But that's actually all I wanted to show you for the second part of this tutorial. Now that we know that the API request is actually successful, we can comfortably move on with our project. But I will leave the recycler view and actually putting this data into the recycler view for the next part. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys later.